So we yeah. mentor training, we started conceptually just looking at like, what are the kind of things you need to do to do ministry well? And I still say to this day, the number one thing that you need to do is listen um, and, uh, and try to relinquish as much control as possible. But we've done things like um, we, uh, we try to take those trainings that we do and then build modules that encourage the mentors to reflect before they go walking into a room talking about professionalism or sharing about their own experiences, getting them to reflect a little bit on, hey, how is your lived context and experience going to be potentially vastly different than your students? Or do you know yet enough about your student to be able to even share a story from your personal life? Um, we worked with uh, this last year, a book called the 15 Habits of Mind. Um, and the 15 Habits of Mind, you know, my sister used in her educational graduate program. And it looks at what are the 15 kind of habits that um, healthy adults tend to embody. So we took those and then we worked them through a theological process. So like um, one might be the ability to take risks or recover from failures. So we take that concept that is valid, it's researched, it works well. And then we say, okay, what gospel gap does that speak to in our culture? So for instance, why are kids afraid to take risks? Well, because if they live in a culture in which success is a prize above all things, failure feels like an existential crisis. So, so they don't yet know that they are valuable apart from what they achieve. That's a gospel gap. Then we say, okay, what are the practical ways we could go about, um, uh, you know, helping with that? So if we listen better to them, if we shared maybe a short story about a failure that we recovered from, we train the mentors in this way. And then we would take that. And for those students that want to be spiritually engaged or already are as they come into our program, we then say, what are the theological concepts that speak to that gospel gap or that practical skill in a more robust way. And then we say, what are the scriptural stories, our stories that also speak directly to those moments? Recovery from failure. You could look at the reinstatement of Peter as an example, or like, right? There's all these different things um, that you can come up with from our narratives that, that are um, from the Bible that just, that speak to these things, the truth of them. So, that's kind of the process that we work, and then we try to put those in the hands of our mentors. Right now, I'm reading a book um, called The Body Keeps the Score, and it's looking at how you work with students who are dealing with uh, ACEs, ACEs students, dealing with high levels of trauma throughout their lives. And I want to figure out how do I get that to ground with our mentors. Um, but I'm not, I'm not trying to train professional-grade mentors necessarily. I'm training lay people who want to be involved with kids in their community. And those are two different things. They, they are. Mm -hmm. And, and I couldn't, if I wanted all professional mentors, I couldn't scale that. There's no way I could get more I people involved in the lives of students. Video.